Leslie Claire Margaret Caron, French, Elsley Ka, born July 1, 1931, is a French-American actress and dancer. She is the recipient of a Golden Globe Award, two BAFTA Awards and a Primetime Emmy Award, in addition to nominations for two Academy Awards. She is one of the last surviving stars from the golden age of Hollywood cinema. Karen began her career as a ballerina. She made her film debut in the musical An American in Paris, 1951, followed by roles in The Man with a Cloak, 1951, Glory Alley, 1952, and The Story of Three Loves, 1953, before her role of an orphan in Lily, also 1953, which earned her the BAFTA Award for Best Foreign Actress and garnered nominations for an Academy Award and a Golden Globe Award. As a leading lady, Karen starred in films such as The Glass Slipper, 1955, Daddy Long Legs, 1955, Gigi, 1958, Fanny, 1961, both of which earned her Golden Globe nominations, Guns of Darkness, 1962, The L-Shaped Room, 1962, Father Goose, 1964, and A Very Special Favor, 1965. For her role as a single pregnant woman in The L-Shaped Room, Karen, in addition to receiving a second Academy Award nomination, won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Drama and a second BAFTA Award. Caron's other roles include Is Paris Burning, 1966, The Man Who Loved Women, 1977, Valentino, 1977, Damage, 1992, Funny Bones, 1995, Chocolat, 2000, and Le Divorce, 2003. In 2007, she won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Drama Series for portraying a rape victim in Law & Order, Special Victims Unit. Early life Karen was born in Boulogne-sur-Seine, Seine, now boulogne billancourt Hautes de Seine, the daughter of Marguerite, née Petit, a Franco-American dancer on Broadway, and Claude Karen, a French chemist, pharmacist, perfumer and boutique owner. Claude Karen was the founder of the artisanal perfumier Germantes. While her older brother Amory Karen became a chemist like their father, Leslie was prepared for a performing career from childhood by her mother. The family lost its wealth during World War II and could not provide a dowry for Karen. My mother said, there's only one profession that leads you to marrying money and becoming a princess or duchess, and that's ballet. Dot dot dot. My grandfather whispered heavily, Margaret, you want your daughter to be a whore? I heard it, this has always followed me. Career Karen was initially a ballerina. Jean Kelly discovered her in the Roland Petit Company, Ballet des Champs-Élysées, and cast her to appear opposite him in the musical An American in Paris, 1951, a role for which a pregnant Sid Charisse was originally cast. The prosperity, sunshine and abundance of California was a cultural shock to Karen. She had lived in Paris during the German occupation, which left her malnourished and anemic. She later remarked how nice people were in comparison to wartime Paris, in which poverty and deprivation had caused people to be bitter and violent. She had a friendly relationship with Kelly, who nicknamed her, Lester the Pester, and, Kid. Kelly helped the inexperienced Karen, who had never spoken on stage, adjust to filmmaking. Her role led to a seven-year MGM contract. The films which followed included the musical The Glass Slipper, 1955, and the drama The Man with a Cloak, 1951, with Joseph Cotton and Barbara Stanwyck. Still, Karen has said of herself, unfortunately, Hollywood considers musical dancers as hoofers. Regrettable expression, she also starred in the musicals Lily, 1953, receiving an Academy Award for Best Actress nomination, with Mel Ferrer, Daddy Long Legs, 1955, with Fred Astaire, and Gigi, 1958, with Louis Jordan and Maurice Chevalier. Dissatisfied with her career despite her success, I thought musicals were futile and silly, she said in 2021, I appreciate them better now, Karen studied the Stanislavski method. In the 1960s and thereafter, Karen worked in European films as well. For her performance in the British drama The L-Shaped Room, 1962, she won the BAFTA Award for Best British Actress in the Golden Globe, and was nominated for the Best Actress Oscar. Her other film assignments in this period included Father Goose, 1964, with Cary Grant, Ken Russell's Valentino, 1977, in the role of silent screen legend Alan Asimova, and Louis Mal's Damage, 1992. Sometime in 1970, Karen was one of the many actresses considered for the lead role of Eglantine Price in Disney's Bedknobs and Broomsticks, losing the role to British actress Angela Lansbury. In 1967, she was a member of the jury of the 5th Moscow International Film Festival. In 1989, she was a member of the jury at the 39th Berlin International Film Festival. 
Karen returned to France in the early 1970s, which she later said was a mistake. They adore someone who's really British or really American, Karen said, but somebody who's French and has made it in Hollywood, and I was the only one who had really made it in a big way. They can't forgive. During the 1980s, she appeared in several episodes of the soap opera Falcon Crest as Nicole Sage. Karen is one of the few actresses from the classic era of MGM musicals who are still active in film, a group that includes Rita Moreno, Margaret O'Brien and June Lockhart. Caron's later credits include Funny Bones, 1995, with Jerry Lewis and Oliver Platt, The Last of the Blonde Bombshells, 2000, with Judi Dench and Cleo Lane, Chocolat, 2000, and Le Divorce, 2003, directed by James Ivory, with Kate Hudson and Naomi Watts. On June 30, 2003, Karen traveled to San Francisco to appear as the special guest star in the songs of Alan J. Lerner, I Remember It Well, a retrospective concert staged by San Francisco's 42nd Street Moon Company. In 2007, her guest appearance on Law & Order, Special Victims Unit earned her a Primetime Emmy Award. On April 27, 2009, Karen traveled to New York as an honored guest at a tribute to Alan J. Lerner and Frederick Lowe at the Paley Center for Media. For her contributions to the film industry, Karen was inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame on December 8, 2009, with a motion picture star located at 6153 Hollywood Boulevard. In February 2010, she played Madame Armfeld in A Little Night Music at the Théâtre du Châtelet in Paris, which also featured Greta Scacchi and Lambert Wilson. In 2016, Karen appeared in the ITV television series The Durrells, produced by her son Christopher Hall, as the Countess Mavrodaki. Veteran documentarian Larry Weinstein's Leslie Karen, the reluctant star premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival on June 28, 2016. Personal life in September 1951, Karen married American George Hormel II, a grandson of George A. Hormel, the founder of the Hormel Meatpacking Company. They divorced in 1954. During that period, while under contract to MGM, she lived in Laurel Canyon in a Normandy-style 1927 mansion near the country store on Laurel Canyon Boulevard. One bedroom was all mirrored for her dancing rehearsals. Her second husband was British theatre director Peter Hall. They married in 1956 and had two children, Christopher John Hall, a television drama producer, and Jennifer Karen Hall, a writer, painter and actress. Her son-in-law, married to Jennifer, is Glenn Wilhide, a producer and screenwriter. Karen had an affair with Warren Beatty in 1961. When she and Hall divorced in 1965, Beatty was named as a co-respondent and was ordered by the London court to pay the costs of the case. In 1969, Karen married Michael Laughlin, the producer of the film Two Lane Blacktop. The couple divorced in 1980. Karen was also romantically linked to Dutch television actor Robert Wolders from 1994 to 1995. From June 1993 until September 2009, Karen owned and operated the hotel and restaurant Auberge Le Lucarne aux Chouettes, The Owl's Nest, in villeneuve sur yonne about 130 kilometers, 80 miles, south of Paris. Caron's mother had committed suicide in her 60s. Suffering from a lifetime of depression, Karen also considered doing so in 1995. She was hospitalized for a month and began attending Alcoholics Anonymous. Unhappy with the lack of acting opportunities in France, she returned to England in 2013. In her autobiography, Thank Heaven, she states that she obtained American citizenship in time to vote for Barack Obama for president. In October 2021, she was chosen to receive the Oldie of the Year Award by the Oldie magazine. It was initially offered to Queen Elizabeth II, who had declined it on the grounds that she did not meet the criteria, even though she is five years older than Karen. Filmography Theater 1955, Orvet, by Jean Renoir, Director Jean Renoir, Théâtre de la Renaissance, Paris 1955, Gigi, by Anita Luz, Director Sir Peter Hall, New Theatre, London 1961, Ondine, by Jean Giraudoux, Director Peter Hall, Aldwych Theatre, London. The second act of this Royal Shakespeare Company production was broadcast on BBC television on April 11, 1961. 1965. Corolla, by Jean Renoir, director Norman Lloyd, PBS TV, Los Angeles 1975-1981-13, Rue de l'Amour, Monsieur Chasse, by Georges Fado, director Basil Langton, US and Australia 1978, can Can, musical by Cole Porter and Abe Burroughs, director John Bishop, U.S. and Canadian tour 1983, the rehearsal by Jean Anui, director Gillian Lynn, English tour 1984, On Your Toes by Rogers and Hart, director George Abbott, 
U.S. Tour 1985. One for the Tango, A Prenz Moi Celine, by Maria Packham, director Pierre Epstein, U.S. Tour 1985. Linaccessible, author and director Christophe Zanussi, Théâtre du Petit Odéon of Paris and Spoleto Festival, Italy 1991. Grand Hotel, adaptation from the novel of Vicky Baum, director Tommy Toon, Berlin 1991. La Martyre de Saint Sebastian by Claude Debussy and Gabriele D'Annunzio, narration, directed by Michael Tilson Thomas, London Symphony Orchestra 1995, Georges Sand at Chopin, author Bruno Villian, Greenwich Festival, Great Britain 1997, Nocturne for Lovers, adaptation G. Avon Lambert, director Cato Costzer, Chichester Festival Theatre, Great Britain 1997, The Story of Babar, by Jean de Brunhoff, narration, Music from Francis Poulenc, Chichester Festival, Great Britain 1998. Apprends Moi Céline, by Maria Pacom, director Raymond Aquaviva, French Tour 1999. Readings from Colette, director Roger Hodgman, Melbourne Festival, Australia 1999. Nocturne for Lovers, director Roger Hodgman, Melbourne Festival, Australia 2006. I Remember It Well Special Guest Artist in a Retrospective Tribute to Lyricist Alan J. Lerner, and his music, 42nd Street Moon Theatre Company, Herbst Theatre, San Francisco 2009, Thank Heaven Platform, at the Théâtre National of London 2009, A Little Night Music by Stephen Sondheim, Director Lee Blakely, Théâtre du Châtelet, Paris 2014, Six Dance Lessons in Six Weeks by Richard Alfieri, Director Michael Arabian, Laguna Playhouse, Laguna Beach, California Recordings The Lover, Le Mans, by Marguerite Duras on Cassette's First World War for the Radio La Martyre de Saint Sebastien by Claude Debussy and Gabriele D'Annunzio, with the London Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Michael Tilson Thomas Gigi by Colette in English on Cassette's recorded in public at Merkin Concert Hall at Abraham Goodman House in New York City, 1996 narrated, Carnival of the Animals, music by Camille Street Sains with the Nash Ensemble, Whitmore Hall, 1999 The Plutocrats play for the BBC DIR. Bill Bryden, written by Michael Hastings, from the novel by Booth Tarkington, January 1999 Bibliography Karen, Leslie, Vengeance. Doubleday, 1982, ISBN 9780385178969 Karen, Leslie, Thank Heaven, A Memoir. Viking Adult, 2009, ISBN 9780670021345 Honours Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur by President François Mitterrand in June 1993 Ordre National du Merit, by Catherine Troutman, Minister of Culture, in February 1998 Officier de la Légion d'Honneur, given by Prime Minister Jean-Pierre Raffarin in June 2004 Médaille d'Or de la Ville de Paris in 2012 Commandeur de la Légion d'Honneur in March 2013 J.F. Kennedy Gold Medal in the Arts in 2015 The Oldie of the Year, 2D, in 2021 References External links Leslie Karen at IMDb Leslie Karen at the TCM Movie Database Leslie Karen at All Movie